All right, so recently I've been working on a stack-based virtual machine that has a, a low-level instruction set where the instructions are, are basically untyped. So it's meant to kind of resemble a real processor, but without a lot of the complications, like because it's stack-based, you don't have to deal with register allocation, uh, but you have like low-level integer arithmetic operations and you can also do uh, pointer arithmetic and, and that, that kind of thing. Um, and you can program this virtual machine with uh, a little assembler language. Uh, I designed the assembler language to be similar to NASM or YASM so that it would be kind of familiar to people and easy to use. Uh, but of course, programming in, in assembler gets, gets old pretty quickly. So I spent probably uh, way too much time working on a, com a C compiler. Uh, this this compiles a subset of C to uh, to this ass assembler language, and uh, it's got some primitives to work with graphics. So you can uh, you can create a window, and you can draw some pixels to it. And uh, yeah, let me show you this little example program. So this is just a little bouncing ball example, but as you can see, like the, the nice thing about this is that it's a very short program, like it's less than 100 lines of code. And most of the logic is for like actually drawing the ball and stuff like there's very little boilerplate to like create a window and actually uh, do stuff with it. And uh, yeah, even though it's interpreted like it runs very smoothly and I've tested it works on both Mac and Linux. So that's fun. Uh, recently, I also uh, programmed a little snake game because, you know, you have to. And also, I wanted to make sure I had some primitives that could work with keyword input so that people can actually make games with this uh, just because I thought it'd be fun. Uh, the keyboard primitives are also, like, very easy to use. Like, you can just register callbacks and immediately, like, get the keys uh, that are pressed. And there's, like, very little boilerplate. Um, yeah, and in terms of what's next, like uh, the C compiler still needs a lot of work. Uh, it's got a lot of missing features, but um, yeah, apart from like bug fixes to the, whoops, oh man. <laughs> yeah, and when you, when you crash into the wall, it's just uh, closest to the program right now. But uh, yeah, apart from, from fixes to the, the C compiler, I still need to add floating points instructions to this, which I'm a little bit torn because I feel like the problem with floating point is that it's it doesn't necessarily work the same on every platform. Um, like on x86, they, they use 80 bits for, for floating points, so you get more precision than on some other platform, which only use 64 bits. So that means your, your floating point operations don't necessarily give the same result on every platform. But that being said, it feels kind of silly to miss out on floating point capabilities in the hardware. Uh, yeah, so that, that's what's coming next. And I guess at some point, I'll give a more detailed tour of this thing, uh, explaining a bit more how it works and uh, showing you the GitHub repository. Uh, yeah, I've also made a little toy paint program just for fun you can like pick some colors and that is it for my little demo <laughs>